last video, we looked at converting fractions to decimals without a calculator. In this video, we're going to do the opposite and convert decimals to fractions without a calculator. Let's start off with an example of a decimal. A decimal could be 0 0.5, or we could say this is 5 tenths. This particular number is quite easy for us to remember and write as a fraction. So 0 0.5 as a decimal, if I put D here, as a fraction, we could simply write that this is going to be one half. So some of these you'll automatically spot. Let's say we had another one. Let's say we had 0 0.75. We might spot this now as a fraction and see this as 3 over 4, or if you like, 3 quarters. Let's look at another one. Let's say we had 0 0.3 and we wanted to convert that to a fraction. So as a decimal, we've got 0 0.3. You might recognise this one now as 3 tenths. We can see now we've got 3 in the tenths column. If you're unsure, what we could do is look at writing this as a fraction by considering now the place value. So if I just put up here now a hundreds, tens, units, in the decimal place, we will have tenths, I'll put in here tenths, we will have one hundredths, and we will have thousands. I'm just putting that like so. So if we look at this number right here, we've got 0 0.3. So in the units, we've got 0, and in the tenths column, we've got 3. So what we could do is simply write this as 3 tenths. This is in its simplest form, so we don't have to cancel down. 3 is a prime number, so we can't divide the numerator and the denominator by anything other than 1. So let's have a look at another number. Let's look at 0 0.8. Well, again, with this decimal, we have 8 tenths. So if I put it over here, it's 0 0.8, and we could write this as 8 tenths. If we look at this, though, we can divide the numerator, which is the top, and the denominator, which is the bottom, by 2. So we could write this as a simplified fraction as 4 fifths. So we could write that now as our final lowest form fraction. This is perfectly valid, but if you're asked to simplify it, 4 fifths is now the simplified version. So all I've done is written 0 0.8 is 8 tenths and simplified. Let's look at 0 0.21. This time, if we put it over in the hundreds, tens, units column, we've got 0 0.21. We can see that we've got 21 hundredths. So we could write this now as 21 over 100. You could look at it and say that you've got two tens and uh, tenths and one one hundredth, or it's easier now to write this as 21 one hundredths. So as we currently stand, let's just put the, the men's, as I make this video, the men's 100 metres world record is 9.58. What we can say is this is 9 seconds and 58 one hundredths. So if I wanted to, let's just convert this part right here, I could write 0 0.58 and we could write this now as 58 one hundredths. So 58 over 100. If we look at it, though, this is not yet in its simplest form. I can see the numerator, which is the top, and the denominator, which is the bottom, can both be divided by 2. So that leaves me now 29 over 50, and that's in its simplest form. So we end up with 0 0.58 as a fraction in its simplest form, 29 fiftieths. Let's look at another one. Let's say we've got now 0 0.025. This time, we're working in thousands. So if I put this in here, we've got 0 0.000, uh, sorry, 0 0.02, let, what did we write? 0 0.025, so let's just get rid of that. So this is now 25 one thousandths. So an example in sport that you might see is Grand Prix racing. Uh, when Lewis Hamilton, or whoever's racing, does a lap, they might have one minute 39 seconds, and then it goes down to 1,000, so it might be 216. So in this particular case, we've got 216 thousandths. So let's write this down. We've got now 
25, and then we're going to have now thousands. So that's what we end up with. And of course, we can simplify this from here. If we divide the numerator and the denominator by 25, we can write this now as a simplified fraction. So 0 0.025 or 25 one thousands can be written as 1 over 40. All I've done is divided the numerator and the denominator by 25. If we have a look at 0 0.103, Again, we've got 103 one thousandths, so let's write this in, 0 0.103. So we're into the thousandths column here, so we can simply write this now as 103 over 1,000, and this now is in its simplest form. So we can't do anything with this, and we would just now leave it like so. If you're unsure, if you wanted to check 103 divided by 1,000, this will give us now that exact fraction, 103 over 1,000. Yeah, if we had 286 1,000s, let's just put this in, the calculator would simplify it for us. So we can see it's 286 over 1,000, and we simply divided the numerator and the denominator by 2. So there we go. There are a few numbers. Let's now look at one where we have one point something. Let's go for 1.7. If we think about this now, 1.7 can go in our hundreds, tens, units, tenths, hundred, thousands column. And what we've got here is one unit and seven tenths. Alternatively, we could just write this as 17 tenths. This is a top-heavy fraction, or if you like, a vulgar fraction, and we could, of course, write this as a mixed number, as one whole one, and then we would have now seven tenths. So an alternative way of looking at this now is just to consider one plus the 0 0.7, if you like, and writing this as seven tenths. Entirely up to you. But as we've looked at here, we've got 21 100s, so it makes sense that we've got 17 tenths. Let's do another one, 2.6. Again, if we put it in the column here, so we're going to have 2.6, we could write this as 26 tenths, so 26 over 10. We can simplify this now, dividing the numerator and the denominator by 2, and that would give us 13 over 5, or we could say two whole ones and three fifths. There is a video on writing top heavy or vulgar fractions, or if you like, improper fractions as uh, mixed numbers, which this is, um, and hopefully you've seen that so you understand that part. We'll quickly run over that. All I've done here is simply said now how many fives go into 13? The answer is two, and there's a remainder three. So if we had, for example, let's say we had 17 over six, how many times does 6 go into 17? It goes in twice, which gives me 12, and then it has a remainder of 5. So as a mixed number, instead of a top-heavy fraction, this would be two whole ones, and then we'd have five sixes. So this now a uh, top-heavy fraction, and then we have a mixed number. So there we go. That is now converting decimals to fractions without a calculator.